Welcome back to GMG. Today we're at FAH Performance to do a dyno test and see how a G lubricant can impact a Mercedes-Benz transporter wagon. Let's go in and have a look. Okay, our first run today is to get a baseline emissions and fuel use. And to do that, we're gonna run at a steady state at a fixed load at about 100 kilometers an hour with a fixed throttle position and that will give us that baseline data that we need to then compare when we add G-loop. Okay, we've just finished our baseline run. It ran for 10 minutes. We had 400 newton meters of torque at the rear wheel. We had the throttles fixed at 2,600 revs per minute. That resulted in 21.1 litres of diesel fuel use per 100 k's. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna actually put our G lubricant in. We're gonna rerun the test to nine litres of oil in this particular engine. As per the table on the, on the bottle, we're gonna dose it with 90 mils of G lube. All right, so we're gonna pour 90 mils in. There we go. So the G-Loop comes with a measuring device that will go to 100. Okay, 90 mils. Rerun the test and let's see what fuel we save. Okay, we finished our dyno testing of a Mercedes-Benz Vito van. Quick recap of the test. We ran the engine at 2,500 revs per minute, simulated 100 kilometers an hour on the highway driving. We had 400 Newton meters of torque on the rear wheel. We ended up adding a second dose of G lubricant, mainly because of the engine condition and wear. Uh, the engine's done over 360,000 kilometers, so we thought we'd see how it went with the second dose. The data showed us that we ended up achieving 13% fuel saving and a 27% reduction in harmful NOx emissions really amazing results. Truly something we didn't expect. Uh, we'll get more data out to you guys as it comes to us. So hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll get more information as our products come to the market.